Okay, um, welcome everybody. Happy New Year again. Um, and welcome to 2024. Um, it's exciting to see um, all of you. Um, if anybody can drop a reminder on the channel that the meeting has started, that would be great. Um, if you can scroll down, that's not the, where the agenda is, though. Like, that's the I think that's the template. So if you can uh, add your names, anybody can share the link in the chat, and then people can add their names to the attendee list. Um, how was our celebration, our Christmas celebrations for the people that celebrate Christmas? What did you do? Did you travel? Hi guys, why is everybody quiet now? Are we still on holiday mode? <laughs> No, I thought we were talking before. Uh, no. Yeah, uh, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hi, Adinka. Yeah, how's that? Hi, Adinka. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello. I'm okay. Like, hello, like Ruth. Are you still waited, there? I waited for this session, like, for ages. Yes, in I'm my mind, it's... Okay. In my mind, I'm calculating, like, 300 years to this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like, I think we... The last minute we had, did we have any meeting in December? I don't think we had one. So it's been like a very long time since we had a meeting. So I can I can imagine that I, I might even I was even going to ask if we want to do these meetings weekly and see how that goes because like it's it's always like a long time and then we come back most people are forgotten everything. So maybe we can deliberate later if we want to make it start making it weekly, but that's by the way um so i think we do have a few new people here um let me see i don't know sylvia have you joined this is your first time in this call hi sylvia how are you doing do you want to introduce yourself let us know where you're joining from and what you do Uh, Sylvia, can you hear us? Thank you. Um, can't hear you. I think you're unmuted, but it can't seem to hear you. Okay. Uh, maybe you can use the chat if you're unable to like uh, this voice. I think um, hi Tamara. How are you doing? Do you want to introduce yourself? Can everyone hear me? Loud and clear. Yeah, can you? <laughs> okay. Um, so I think our our new format is shy, but you can use the chat um to say hi, like um tell us where you're joining from and what you do. Um I see people that have not joined in a while that are here and I'm excited to see them. Hi Lami, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Welcome here. back. Thank yes, you. I'm, I'm really excited to see you here. So welcome back, Rami. Um, Thank you. I'm happy to be here too. And welcome back every other person from the holidays. Um, I wanted us to, you know, in the spirit of setting goals and thinking about what we we want to do for the new year because um, I'm really very op optimistic about this year and every like there are a lot of things we are going to be doing this year right um so i wanted us in the spirit of setting goals to kind of also look at what we want so the different things we want to accomplish this year um last year we set up like this um i don't know um if 
and go to that link, the Tears Africa goes up. Last year, I think it was towards the end of the year, we made this document, you know, rethinking our our goals and object like what we are going to be focused on as chaos africa and like the different things we want to do like in the next two years right um i know throughout last year we we were able to a, a highlight that i can share is we're able to we we're, were focused on like that um access to education and we're through like the twitter spaces we did and you know, the Twitter threads we're doing, we're focused on helping people, sharing resources that would help people learn about open source and ups also upskill, right? We shared a lot of opportunities last year. We were also able to um, um, bring together like an event where we did Chaos, uh, Chaos Africa, Chaos Okay, so we're able to do um sorry for that break. So we're able to do um Chaos Con Africa, right? And that brought people together from different parts of um some people came in from um other countries as well. They were able to attend and through that we we're able to like promote networking, right? Um and the other activities that we did, we also built projects. Um we had that the grants from like GitHub to build the, the website and also engaged in um and projects. So in all this, we're able to accomplish some of these goals um that we have here. But this year we should we should do more. Um that there, there are a lot of things that we can do just looking at these goals um and objectives that we have. Um something that um at the top of my mind, you know, when I think about the things that we want to do this year for me is um creating for programs, right? Creating programs that would you know foster that education piece because from what we've seen we see a lot of people that come into the community and then they they want to they want to contribute but they are stuck on you know where to get started so um something i am really going to focus on this year is creating programs right that can enable people um learn and also contribute right it it can be through partnerships that we do or even through um our own programs right so i want to also hear thoughts from people like what are you looking for what what areas do you want to focus on like looking at these goals right and objectives personally what speaks to you more and what do you what's what do you want to con what area do you want to contribute looking at this document i think it's accessible to everyone so i just open the floor to people and you know we can pick different things and um, that we want to be focused on maybe as teams and um, different smaller teams or individually um, so yeah um, that's your talk Ah, the this is the part where we get to talk. Oh, like ah, everybody's quiet. Um, it's it's um a very important conversation to have because um while you know I'm leading the community as well, like I also need um everybody's inputs in like what's what's are the parts like you want to focus on like looking at this. Um, I think in the previous times we have shared this. Um, documents. Um, a lot of times we have talked about okay, people going back to look at it and come back, but I think um today we should you know make an effort to know what areas that people are interested in and just keep it um, aside and then we keep planning from there so i kind of like you need input from everybody there but like 21 people here which is which is really exciting we have a, a full house today so um let's let's get the ball rolling hi Winfred. yes i'm quiet Okay, I think that this for me, um, I think the one I'm interested in is build a strong, the go-to, building a strong and inclusive open source community in Africa. Uh, I 
I want to see more uh, differently abled people uh, open source. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Okay, uh, let me let you finish. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay, that that's uh, that's really a good um a good one. Um, so maybe something I'll say is um as relating to maybe programs like if we are going to host a program like to help people that are differently able to contribute to open source. Um, and since you you know you have been able to contribute is it something you've been interested in facilitating like for example working with me to kind of like put that together and have sessions that um it could be virtual it must not be like in-person sessions really right um i know somebody there's somebody in this community as well brian um his name is brian he's based in kenya he works a lot with differently abled people um, he has a lot of expertise in that. He's based in Kenya. Um, he even did that. Like, he was one of the people that spoke at Theoscon Africa. Um, so I, I would even drag him to work on this because when we met in Zanzibar, he really emphasized the fact that he wanted to contribute in that area. So connecting you both together, is this something you've been interested in? Like, say, for example, want to do that like a program or we want to an outreach to... Um, to target these specific people, is this something you'd be interested in doing? Yeah, sure. I would be okay, interested. I'll... Okay, great. I don't know if somebody's taking notes so that I can refer back to this. Um, And maybe I'll connect you and Brian together and we can work on something and figure out a timeline for it. And definitely any other person can also participate in it. It's not just, uh, just the three of us. So if you if you're interested in something like that, I don't know if somebody's taking notes. Um, you can drop your name on that the notes section, and I'll reach out to you. Um, when we start forming these um sessions or um start creating programs as regards this. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, Winifred. Um, Hamza. Yes, you can go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh, sorry for the uh, 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 sorry for the noise in my background. I'm on, I'm in a very noisy environment, but uh, I'm very sorry, Garena. So as for me, my plans was the I divided the year into four: uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Uh, the Q1 because I'm I'm really interested in uh, advocating open source. So uh, I. So in the Q1, I will continue with that part, uh, forming uh, forming a um, strong relationship with the active players here in Kano, Nigeria, so uh, to advocate open source. And then in the Q2, that's where I decide, that's where I plan to visit all the um, uh, universities in Kano here in Nigeria and advocate about open source, starting with Bayer University, which there is a uh, bit communication between me and the uh, Department of Computer Science. We are planning to host our in-person open source boot camp somewhere around the Q2 of the year. And then uh, in the Q3, that's where I plan to work again with this with the stakeholders here to uh, build uh, to to start and identify uh, problems here that we can solve under a open source uh, uh, project and communities at large. And in the Q4, that's where we we that's where I plan to run up the year to like uh, it's more of a final touches of all the things that I plan to do throughout the year on the open source communities. Thank you. Yeah, that's, um, thank you, Hamza, for sharing that with us. Like, that's really, really, really interesting. Um, and I like the way you kind of broke it down into different quarters, because it kind of helps you, um, you know, plan better and know where to focus your efforts, right? So um, when you were speaking, like, what's, what actually came into my mind is partnerships. Um, I see that you're doing a lot of work, a lot of good work, like in the north, um, with like you know, um, people over there, and like, um, something I would just want to say is that we're open to partnerships, like things that if you're doing programs there, that you think that we have the resources, um, even though we don't think we have the resources, really we can, 
uh, figure something out, right? Um, if you think we have like the the resources um to contribute in that aspect, it may be people resource or even like um some bit of funding, right? In programs that you're going to run, um, you can always let me know. Um, and something we can look forward to do, right? And like for last year, you know, we I know you lead um one of the Oscar chapters, um in Kano, right, Hamza. Yes, actually, I'm the chapter lead for Open Source Community Campus. Exactly. So, you know, last year we were able to partner with the Oscar chapter in Togo and we were able to do some things with them, right? So, things like this, is, um, we are also open to something like that, right? So, in the case where as you go out around these things that you're doing, um, if there are partnerships that we can leverage um, or come together to plan, um, for the people that are based there, because um, I think one thing, one thing that I know is that the, there's a lot of like lack of resources there. So if it's something that we can do together, um, you just let me know and the timelines as well. We can work towards that area. So thank you very much for sharing. Um, any other person wants to share or talk about like how they want to, um. Looking at the the goals and objectives we have, um, if you and if can scroll down so that people will see like, um, other things. Okay. Um. So, I don't know if any other person wants to say something. Hi everyone. This is Adenka. Can you hear me clearly? Hello. Yes, I can hear. I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Um, so for me, um, I would like to do stuff that aligns with my goals this year, and that's going to be more technical. Oh, focus. I think um, hearing what Hamza and Fred. Um... Can you hear me? Sorry, can you hear me? Sorry, I I disconnected initially. Um, you can hear me now, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I okay, can, can hear you. Um, Isihan, can you go back to the minutes? Um, so we go to the next agenda. Okay. So I think. What's um, next? Ruth, okay. can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I was speaking before you um came on again. Oh no no sorry sorry can go ahead. <laughs> it's fine it's fine I just wanted to know, I just wanted to know if others can hear me because can oh yes. okay so let me know. hear you loud and clear. Adina. All right thank because you. Hey. So I was saying I was saying that um I would like to um be more focused on the technical um aspect, which is more of um the development code development and uh, technical writing, documentation, anything that just have to do with us building projects. So um, I'm not sure where that fits in. Maybe it's go one, it has been taken away from the screen. Oh no, I think it fits in, it really fits in. And thank you for bringing that up because something that it, um, a lot of people like, Look for development projects to contribute to, or how to build mm, different sorts project. of uh, projects. And we, if we can facilitate that kind of those kind of sessions of, you know, help people do that, it would be great. Um, I think, for example, now, um, you know, it's even the next thing on the agenda, right? For example, now we have, um, we have like the new badging, DI badging website, right? We we have two projects that we're focused that you know. Chaos Africa has built up like this DI badging website and um, the um, African open source um, African open source um, website. So those are two websites or two projects that we know that Chaos Africa members are already um, running or spearheading in Chaos, right? And aside from like the two software that we have, at least we have like the autonomy with these two projects. So we can use right, those we'll um, places, those ways as like, um, ways that people can contribute and then the we, we can look at building more projects focusing on specific needs right um specific needs that solve our problems i would 
want to channel it towards that area specifically is that our problems so we can look at that area as well so it's something that is also i think it's also in the it's also in the goals as well so it's welcome definitely and you're already leading like that developer team so you have like that um that autonomy to like build or create more things like goals for that particular small group or small team from what we already have so i don't know if that makes sense mm -hmm. it makes sense to me i'll be reaching out to you later on that thank you sure um okay is there any more um feedback there um or comments okay if there's none we can go to the next agenda so um the new um budget website if you can if you can navigate to it the link that is there so there are a lot of people um i think even to the dev developer team that were building you know the, the budget They were building like the DI events badging website. I don't know. There, I, I see a lot of people that contributed to that here. Um, I have like, I have like some good news and like you know some other news as well. I know we had. I don't know. I think I can mute. There's somebody that joined that. Their mic is on. Can help me with the person. Okay, so um. There was the DI event badging website that we have been like I think a lot of people here have been building. Um not this one. There was another one. I don't know if people can remember the people that are here. There was another one that was being built up um over throughout last year. And towards the end of the year, um we started a new the new project badging, right? And it was a separate website. But at some point, we saw that we we're building two different things and like there are two different systems. So we wanted to bring them together. Um, is your still talking? Um, I was about to. No, no, no. She's. She, I don't think she's. Maybe her network. Hello, Ruth. Can you hear us? Maybe her network is bad because she just left the call. Yeah, sorry. Um, can you all hear me now? My network is um on transit, so my network mm. is very unstable. Okay, yeah. So I I was uh I think I was talking about us bringing together the two websites um and making this very simple one and again apologies to those people that were building the events budget one so like we disregarded those efforts they were really good um but we needed to put it together right um so this website was built um by pressures in a unity um tochuku and we had like a whole team and enoch um and it's open, it's going to be open for contributions or it's already open for contributions, but we just need to figure out ways, like there are a lot of things that we need to um, put together so that people can start contributing. Where we're at the stage where people can use it, um, I can, maybe in the next meeting, I can do a proper demo, um, but we'll be launching it by January the 19th. I think it's set to launch January the 19th. So here um, in the future, events badges and like people that want to badge their events can apply directly here can um apply directly here and also for project badging people that want to badge their open source projects and apply directly 
so I can do a demo later. But this is the new shiny website. Um, you can see it's very simple. Thank you to Kinsley. Um, he did the design work here. Um, and there's still there's still some more work to be done, really, because there are some um there are some pages like for event badging. We have not figured out how the pages for that and how people will apply. It's still on the old one. So there's still some things, but this is a project that um, we've had interesting contributions from both GitHub and GitLab. Um, so yeah, it's um, something that will be good for us to contribute to once it's launched and ready. So yeah, that's um, what I wanted to um, inform people. Are there any like, questions or feedback on this? Um, I have a question. Sure. Uh, more like a clarification. So is this going to be like, you said it's going to be open soon. Is it going to be like an extension of like the former um, event badging projects that were contributing to last year? So so it's going to be, um, it's, it's the same one. Um, like where we, we sunsetted the other websites, right? We, mm -hmm. we archived that one, right? Because okay. we needed to bring them together. Initially, I don't know, Rama, if you if you ever came across us building the project badging website, if at any point you saw that. Yes, I did. Yeah. So initially, um, GitHub had given us a grant to build that separately in collaboration with them. So at some point, even after building that, um we had to like take back the project. You know, initially it was a um collaboration between GitHub and um chaos but we had to take back the project and take full uh, full access of it so we we're like okay if event badging has its own website project badging has its own website and they are all under the same umbrella it's going to be very confusing for people to know what's going on so why not have like just one website where everything lives in right so that's how we um because we had um it was more of like a grant we had to focus we had focused efforts there so we just brought everything together so this is what this particular website right if you scroll down you see the github um the github um page okay. the github can you go to the github yes so you see that um everything now lives in one so this is where people will now start contributing and focusing efforts right um okay. i think more I think maybe if the dev meeting is going to happen next week, I'm going to join to give more than explain in depth, explain more on this, right? But this is where everybody will now contribute to, right? And build from here. So right now, after it launches on the 19th, it's open for contributions. Okay, thank you. And it was built with React. Um, so just not in it there. It was built with React and JavaScript. Uh, so. Um, so if you're a developer I think you should join the next developer meeting so I'll join I think I'll be able to join and give more details maybe not technical details but like I can give more feedback here but this is now the website <laughs> JavaScript again I think there's no so um there's some bit of Python because of the bots so um there's Python <laughs> there's Python as well um because the bot is there's this bot that we have that facilitates the whole process that scans the whole um that scans the whole uh the projects that apply so there's javascript and um, there's python in it don't worry if you have um so uh, i don't know any more questions uh, or feedback Okay. Hi, sorry. So we can contribute until after the nineteenth, yeah. That's what you're saying. Um, something like that because um we also need okay. to put together. Okay, what are different things that are left for people to contribute on to? Right. Um, there are a lot of things, but there's some structure that needs to go in place. And maybe I'll speak with Adinka on this, and then people can now start contributing. Like when we have a list of all the issues and the the roadmap as well. Cause that's another thing that needs to like happen as well so that we know okay this is what we are this is where we are and yeah so to be open for
Um, any questions, feedback? Okay. If you can go to the the agenda again. Thank you. Um. So um, the next agenda is so I wanted to get updates from like the project management group. I know um in Q four there was a lot of work around like bringing things together. I don't know if there are things that um people can start contributing to um Yiga if you want to speak to this. Hi Ruth. Hi everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy, Happy New Year, New Year everyone. Year. Yeah. Um so there are a lot of projects actually that people can contribute to while you were talking about the um badging website and sharing like the repo i was also thinking that perhaps um that would also need project managers right at some point because if yeah, all the issues yes exactly so that's also something i know that yes we do have a lot of um stuff but of course in december everybody winded down or went down and stuff like that so what we can do is we're already working a thing we stopped the project managers meeting because of the timing it was a bit difficult to get everybody you know to agree to the time so we decided okay since we kind of know how things are going to go and you know the project board and all of that we will just work async with that now the other thing that is also happening is that we're trying to um for example with the lesson creation like the creation of lessons one of the things that we're trying to do is to for that particular project, we're trying to also make it easy for people to contribute in the sense that we want everything to um, look put together. So for example, the way that you create videos for these lessons, the way that you record them, the timing and everything, it, it should just be put together so that it doesn't look like a scattered bunch, right? But for things like contributing code, for example, for this budget, um, the badging project and all of that stuff, that would be easier, right? Because we just need the project board and to assign people. And then I'm thinking, I don't know if Ade Inka can come in here with probably some form of documentation to say, because another thing that we would like to remove when it comes to project management is, of course, when you're assigned an issue, we know that things can come up, right? So I think, a suggestion I would make is to give a time frame, right? To say, oh, um, part of the readme will be that if you are not able to complete this in say maybe one week or two weeks, it can be assigned to somebody else. So that's also something that we can put in place. But yes, there's a lot of things to contribute to when it comes to project management. And I see somebody here that I remember, what's her name, Gloria? Yes, Luria. So yes, there's a lot of projects that we have to contribute to. I think that now that we're back fully, we'll just start. <laughs> yeah, hi, Gloria. We'll just start assigning stuff. Yeah. So yes. Okay. Also, there's Thank also this access the accessibility one. I know like that was um a project that had potentially a lot of good first issues um because oh, yes. um. Yeah, so I don't know what what did we decide on that? Was it using the sheet to check and then they go and make a PR or what was the flow around that? I know that's another one that's like a lot of did you con did you guys conclude? Okay, so for the accessibility one and I can talk to that. Um the accessibility one, it was myself and Victoria Otsa that were working actively on the accessibility what we were doing was to go with the sheet of course go to the website update it on the sheet we weren't really doing prs because for that project now 
um, doing PROs seem like just making it longer because when you're doing the PROs, you would have to, you're, you're as, the way you're doing accessibility is you're going to the website to check what is wrong using a checker, right? So it's like for each, and it's a lot of checkers to be honest. So for each checker, you would have to create like a PR, like a, an issue rather for that. So that would have been very um, lengthy, right? So what we're doing is putting everything in that spreadsheet. But yes, we need people. If there's anybody that knows a thing or two about accessibility, please, please, and please, right? We need we need you to comment. So maybe that can be something that it could, it could be an issue or something that we can put on the Chaos Africa group. The the team can help us put it out because yes, we need people to join us in doing that. I don't know if Victoria can speak, add more things to this. Hi, Victoria. Happy New Year. She here, I saw her. Maybe not. Hello. Okay, right. Can you guys hear me? Hello, everyone. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, okay, okay. You wanted me to say something. Yeah, you basically said it all. Yeah, so we are um running a test basically, both um automated and manual, and we are also doing one where we involve um users with disabilities to also help us and check because they are mostly the people we are making the edges to accommodate. So that's what we're doing. So we would appreciate people who are also like knowledgeable in accessibility, probably know how to carry out accessibility testing because we have to test the um every single page on the on the website and it's actually a lot of work because we have to text, we have to document. I think we're also working with Zara. I don't think she's here. She has been doing the um a little bit of documentation for us. But I think that's basically the progress so far. Okay. Um I was thinking it was something that um can be spread across, right? But um so I think from what you you're saying, um it's more of like a closed kind of like only people that are very good with accessibility can do. Sure. Um. Then another thing um, you got is maybe next week we can come up with like more issues that people can contribute to, right? After you meet with the other project managers and we can now start coming up with different things. So in these calls, we can say, okay, this project needs this kind of contribution. This other project needs this type of contribution. So if we can do that more, so in these meetings, people get to know what needs the different projects have. So I want the project management group, right? Because then there are a lot of um, people from this um, chapter contributing there, right? So I want them to be able to sync with these meetings and, okay, tell us, okay, what are different projects, right, that need contributions, so uh, maybe that's something that um we can do from next from the next meetings like just keep talking about okay. the project managers get to talk about okay where needs contributions and people do you get and what are those projects who do you reach out to hi Ruth yeah sure um sorry I'm taking notes and I'm trying to listen and everything so but yes sure that's a good way to start because we do have a lot of things and chaos has a lot of people that would really really love to contribute so that's a good way to start so yes I've taken it down I'm fitting it as an action item thank you okay okay um thank you very much Iga. um in case you're also like a project manager or product manager I think that group would be really helpful to you. Um, any, I'm peculiar, you have your hands up. Peculiar, I can go for it. Oh, yeah. good evening, everyone. Yeah, I had my hands up when, uh, uh, Yiga and Victoria was talking about if your summary has at least covered what I wanted to ask. Uh, because I had when uh 
Pretoria was saying they need more hands. So I was trying to say if those aspects they need hand, if they can convert to those uh, aspects, does those two issues and then put it up, will be it up on the repo so people can know, okay, this is the area they need more hands on. So what you've covered that already. So my hands done. Okay, thank you, Prakulia. Um, and thank you all for your work today as well. It's not easy trying to bring things together and make sense of stuff. So thank you, everyone. Um, I don't know if uh, for the next agenda item, um, the social media um team already there was like a particular conversation about doing workshops. So I don't know if um you want to discuss that now like what the this hi hi everyone hi everyone can you hear me yes we can yes we can hear i can hear you all right happy new year so um basically from the social media table um we we've been discussing about a particular workshop that we want to we want to hold this month and also next month so we were contemplating on um we were contemplating on whether we should make it an in-house thing first of all then we get to like invite people to join our community like a webinar sort of thing and also we were thinking maybe we should do it as um for every for everybody that is we're going to like of course we're going to like announce it on our social media page and also um and also get people to like register set their alarms and whatnot so we're thinking either we should do it as a webinar that is on zoom or um, on Twitter spaces. So the um, the workshop is about how people can research topics and also like apply to speak to open source conferences. And another one is how they can apply for grants and scholarship. So we have not, we've not concluded yet actually, because we're trying to like, um, trying to like make sure that everything was in place and every other thing. So yes, we decided to like bring it up today so that we can hear from other people about the whole stuff. Sorry, about the whole stuff. There is no um this thing, there is no um what's it called? There's no document for the thing. We're using Slack to to the discussion, so I cannot share anything. Don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, so like that's the question. Like, is it something that's beneficial or is it something that people will be interested in to do, do? Like, the workshop is it something that you think will be beneficial for the audience. Are there like ideas on like what, what the topics should be? Um, this is Adenka. I really think the second topic is very much important because for me, I think I would like to be enlightened on how I can get grants, scholarship um, that will pay for my time working in open source because really it's needed. And I, I have been reading um, articles that actually talk about people getting paid because they are actually also using their time, volunteering their time to make um, open source work. So yeah, I think it's a good one. All right, thank you very much, Adinka. So um, we've not like, although the topics that we came up with, they were just like raw topics, we've not constructed them actually. So another major issue we're having was if we should make it an in-house thing, like I said, the webinar something, and then we kind of like invite people to join our community because of 
like another way to get people to join our community or we can just make it as Twitter spaces because for workshops like this, we we notice that it is it will be more engaging when the speakers tend to like share their screen and also like do some navigation and whatnot. But you cannot do something like this on Twitter space. So we're kind of like stuck on that on that particular idea or that particular side. Any contribution from anybody? <laughs> Sorry. So um, I had I think I had dropped the suggestion myself, but I would definitely love to hear what other people think, right? Um, Twitter Spaces for us has been effective, yes. Um, because then it's very easy for people to jump into Twitter Spaces, right? Um, but like for something like this, I would even I'll prefer it be like, I think it should be a webinar because like I think the last time when we did we did a webinar one time last year for people to like get started up and so us make their first contribution. It was really successful, even though we had like some glitches right it was really really successful we had that page people i think quite a hundred people registered we had a lot of people attended so um it being a webinar would make more sense although like on twitter or an x um people can randomly jump in well session if, if we're going to do a session like this i see it's been more technical in the sense that like the speakers will need to share their screen or show some particular things or do some particular slide which like um to um spaces do not um permit that so yeah that's my own computer i love to hear what other people think Hi, my comment is directed to Oluchi, so if I don't need to hear anything yet. Yeah, but can see your voice is very low, if you can, I can barely hear you. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. So, um, Oluchi, I'm shouting, so it's... <laughs> So, um, all the challenge act, so not about the stuff you mentioned, but do you have like um like a meeting, like a social media group or something? Because um, I think I just had a couple of guys reach out to me on LinkedIn, which I sort of pointed them to you. So I don't know. I think one of them was in my DM. So maybe there are some guys too that want to support like the good stuff we've been doing on Twitter and maybe try to extend it to perhaps, I don't know if there's room to extend it to other media platform, but if not, maybe you just get some form of support from these guys. So um, so I don't know if you have like a, like a weekly this thing or maybe just social media, like any other person working with you. So that's just... Okay, so we um there's this group, a direct DM that we opened for um for folks that were interested in joining in contributing rather last year. I had a meeting with them just to like know why they wanted to um contribute and just get to know each other. But yes, we we have a group DM, which is a communication channel and I've not really fixed a particular um a particular date for our meeting. Maybe it's going to be bi-weekly or weekly meetings. I've not done that yet, but I plan to do that before the month runs out. Also for the uh, social media platform, for now we are working on just Twitter. We plan on opening um what's it called a LinkedIn account because there is one for the Chaos Project actually. But for Chaos Africa, we are just on Twitter for now. So if there is anybody that wants to contribute, because I've, I've, I've had people, two persons actually, they want to contribute to newsletter writing. So if there is anyone that wants to like contribute 
at all because we plan on doing videos, video content this year also. So if there is anyone that wants to contribute in any way within video, any way at all, they can always like reach out to me. And when there is a limit to the group DM, I think we're going to open a private channel. I don't know if I have a side question. Okay, that's super cool. So last one is, um, I know we started this whole thing last year, but then um, I think we didn't really get to work. Um, Your voice some... is breaking. <sighs> Sorry. So it's better now. Yes, it is. So I said we started this thing last year where we was you supposed to create content so I go for like a monthly calendar for calendar, yes. So I know it, this whole thing to get to work. So I, I don't know, it's something we can revisit this year. So, yes, it is. Okay, so maybe you can share the stuff with me later. I don't know if we have an open it up already, or you can share with me so that maybe on the next call, the design team will be having a call next week. So to be a good time to kind of like share with them. Thank you. All right. Okay, thank you very much, Oluchi, um, and all the other people that have been working on social media stuff. I think we can coordinate easing for the webinar workshop, but I think it's something that should happen in Q1. So we'll just look for, uh, find a way to uh, uh, work on that um, and come back to the community. Um, so I don't know if there's, um, I think somebody's hand was up. Sophia, yes, yeah, sorry. Can I try with your hand is up? Hi guys, good afternoon everyone. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Um I think I have two questions. Yes. And and before I say anything, I want to apologize. Yeah, <laughs> it has been very ethical for me. My company and all the new experience and all. But I want to like um get into the part of um project um project um, management. So my first question would be, um, do you guys still need more hands on the project management group? Is there this space for one more person? Because I'd like to, I'd like to join you guys. That's my first question. I think that should be to the first person that spoke concerning the project works they're doing, managing stuff they're doing. And then my second question is, um, generally do chaos africa um partner with um ngos like separate ngos do they partner with them those are my questions okay um i think giga answered the first question there's space um definitely space for everyone as well um so on the second question um it's so so it, it depends on what is the is the apps right so because we were solely focused on um open source open source um stuff right um we tend to like prioritize um open source communities and initiatives right but depending on what the axe is um if it's is it related to open source is something that we can um try to think about okay um, how do we do, is it something that aligns with our goals, right? Is this something that is in line with us? Is it about training people or share, giving resources to people about open source? Like, what is the act? So it depends on the act, but most the priority is on open source related communities and organizations. So I don't know if that helps or if you maybe want to share more. Um, no, no, it, it helps. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, so I think um, we are almost out of time, but but um, we have exciting news. Um, so the exciting news is I think we're starting the year big. Um, we have like a our first um official sponsor, um uh, GitLab. So GitLab is going to be sponsoring us yearly. Um. 
and not just with money but also with swags they they sent about two boxes of swags to me which would use for events um so they will be sponsoring yearly and it's a it's beyond beyond the sponsorship i think it's an ad venue for us to do a lot of things with them um so it's really really exciting and i i'm happy i'm happy to share that news um more and and the, the funds will be channeled into the different programs that's why i'm really very particular about um creating more programs for us this year um and there are different ways we can work with them and um get to um collaborate with them better and you know get more value out of this um sponsorship so that's the good news i i like sharing good news at the end of the meeting so that's the good news um we're still wrapping up everything to be official it's not official yet um but i just wanted to share that quick good news because we are almost done with the the whole process um I would want to join the design meeting and the developer meeting next week. So please, um, Adinka and um Kingsley, hold me to my neck to do that. Um, because there are some things we need to discuss as regards this. Um, um, I don't know. We have one more minute left. Um, we I think we can focus. If somebody can put on the action items, yes, on the that particular place. Um. To be great, yes, I think Giga or some of the I think guys already doing that. So the last question is, what what do you look forward to? What do you want to us to next year? Um. Oh, somebody said, what's the good news? Gita be sponsoring us. So, um. Yes, that's the good news. Um. Should I, um. What does anybody want to share? Maybe what they're looking forward to for in chaos in this year, maybe to give us also insight to the programs that we'll be doing. I'd have loved to say uh, something. Yes. Most yes. probably was part of my time, shall I this If this thing you're saying, you have to use your voice. <laughs> No, 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 no. Maybe I'll show you this much later. Okay, I think Sophia has hand this up. Uh, yes, you can go for it. I think there's another meeting. Yes, science group meeting is here already. So we are already hijacking it. So I don't know. Um, we can discuss this async. Um, and um, I think I can stop the recording. Um, but thank you everyone for, you know, being here and coming to our first meeting we'll keep um connecting on the channel i enjoy the rest of your afternoon or evening